Hi, everyone. I'm Sonia from We Coach You. Nice to have you here. I am going to help you figure out your values today, as promised. Um, so what I do with my clients is I give them a list of the values. There's about 400 on this list, and I have them go through it. Uh, so when you're going through your values list, make sure you are picking on the ones that resonate with you the most, the ones that um, kind of resonate with you and kind of stir something up in you. So write them all down. Don't worry too much about anything else right now. Just write all the work ones that resonate with you. I did it uh, a long time ago and I still kept a piece of paper. Uh, I had probably about 60 on this scrap piece of paper that I wrote down. And um, that's okay. You might end up with 60. You might end up with a little bit more. You might end up with only 25. That's okay. Don't worry. Like I said, don't worry about it. And what I like to do after um, I pick out the ones that resonate with me the most is I sit on it for a day or two. You don't have to, but you can. Um, so after you've done that, uh, you pick out the ones that are your top 10. Um, how I narrowed my list of 60 down, I put a little star with the ones that were the most important to me. And I still end up probably with a list of 20, but then, you know, out of that list, I narrowed it down to, to my top 10, which um, are my freedom, my passion, uh, intimacy, honesty, passion, love, humor, financial dependence, commitment, courage, and adventure. Um, so you're probably asking, you know, what does this, these values even mean in the first place? And when you're doing anything when you're in your life, you want to make sure that your values are aligned with your goals. It makes it that much easier for you to achieve them because they're important to you. They're, they, they, they're, they mean something to you, so you'll be more easily able to achieve them and you won't um, struggle with the whole process as much. So that's why it's, it's important. So, um, like I said, narrow it down to your top 10 and then narrow it down even further to your top five. Uh, um, and then once you've done that, what I get my clients to do is out of their top 10 values, I get them to figure out their goals for a year. Um, so their goals that they're gonna have, they're gonna need to align with their values. So if you have a goal that doesn't align with any of your values in your top 10, then that's not a goal that you're going to do this year, um, preferably. So again, figure out your goals for the, for the whole year and make sure they align with your values. Uh, I uh, will tell you about my top three and how I picked them and why I picked them. Um, my first one is freedom. And Freedom might mean different things for different people, but for me, freedom means the freedom to be able to move wherever I want to, when I want to. It's something that I have was never able to do for about 38 years of my life. And freedom to be able to buy things and not being made feel guilty about it. Uh, that's part of my freedom. And also the freedom to work for myself. And I guess in a sense, to be able to make my own schedule, to be able to decide what I'm going to do today, to be able to decide um, how much effort I put into something, you know, to, to, do, to, be, to have the freedom to be creative, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So that's my, how I picked up my freedom and how, um, how it's important to me. And then intimacy. Uh, intimacy isn't necessarily being intimacy with, with my partner. Um, it's intimacy also with my friends and my family. It's being able to share with them things that I care about, to be able to experience things with them, to be able to talk to them. Uh, also, you know, my intimacy with, with my boyfriend is huge. Um, and to be able to connect um, in all levels is, is what my intimacy means to me, to be able, you know, spiritually, um, yes, yeah, sexually, uh, you know, to, to be able to share my dreams with him and to be able to share my fears as much as, you know, that's hard to do. That's, that's intimacy to me. And then honesty is my third one. And honesty for me is something I've always been good at, probably to the point where I probably sometimes a little bit too honest and people don't like maybe the answer they give them. Um, and as clients, I, I don't give you advice, but if you do ask for my opinion, I will give you my opinion. 
um, but it's you know your decision to decide what you're going to do with it. Um, it's always up to you. So um, yeah, you know, just being honest about everything. It's, yeah, everybody tells a little white lies, or but I try not even to do those. I, I'm an open book. I wear my heart on my sleeve, and you know, I, I am who I am. So those are my top three, and that's how I rationalize how they became my top three because they are my top values. So whenever I do something, they I try to do it that aligns to it. You know, like for my freedom, I don't think I would probably work for somebody again. I hope I don't have to um, because that would take away from my freedom of being able to be creative on my own, um, to be able to come and go as I want. So you know, that's how you can align your goals with, with your values as well. That's about it. Um, that's what I do with my clients. I help them figure out what their top three are eventually. And I um, shouldn't say eventually. It, you know, this can be done in a, in a day. And, um, and then, you, um, then you align everything with your, with your goals. So, again, I will be adding the list of all the values. And I'll also give you a little worksheet in there on a to help on ways to help you um, narrow them down. And that's about it. So thanks for listening. And I, if you need further help, you know, just let me know. Just drop me a, an email or shoot me a message on Facebook. Uh, I'll be more than happy to help you uh, figure that out. All right. So I hope this helps. Um, and you guys have a great day and we'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.